Yes, now finds Dr. Merritt, but it's too late to save her. Do you think... Kozel? Let's not assume the worst. You'll find him, Doctor. Alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. to me. You're alive! Did you hear that, sir? Cobble's alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Cobble? Cobble? His eyes are so empty, just like Crowter's. Koval, what the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crowter's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Koval on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. His journal, oh, it's in pieces. It's everywhere. In pieces. No, not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's uh, nothing about Dr. Gorski. Ah, found them. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Koval to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. The structures branch underground. G checks the right branch. Massive vertical exhibit it protrudes above the surface. Water tank. Underground structures. The piece one yet. Inside the hill, 150 meters. Flagged. Visible from point four. As a move, 350. Distance, 200. Let's go. You got him. The underbombing crowd is also on its way to the site. You'll need short. The land is already descending. Issues. It all has to be related to that. 
On the other hand, how could it be? There's not much on this planet. Primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest for some reason. Nothing adds up. But I'm afraid it's our own fault. It was going so well before. We hadn't even considered the possibility of failure. Started digging right away. Taking samples. Not even trying to avoid potential threats. Kovel was alone. Out of the signal's reach. Dr. Gorski wandered even further away. On his own. And Merit... She... Yes, now? You there? Yeah, sorry. I lost track of my thoughts. Don't even know what I wanted to say anymore. Oh, that happens to all of us. Don't worry. <sighs> See you up there. Only Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. I'll go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the lander. But Yasna, Dr. Marit is already gone. What if we also lose Gorski? I've made up my mind, Astrogator. I can't leave her like this. How do you think, sir? I'm managing. Somehow. Forgive me, but I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. <laughs> ready? Well, I don't think we have much choice in the matter. There's only one way forward. served with Dr. Merritt for over two decades. She's made of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. I did. Did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion? She would have been the first female astrogator in the history of the Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore, really. Not entirely. Merritt will be awarded posthumously. I'm taking up at your word, Astrogator. This could pave the way for others. And that's what she would have cared about the most. No doubt about it. Please take good care of her. Of course. Dr. Gorsk is next. Let's hope he got out of danger in time. It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about.
And let's hope that that's the correct way to find him. Excavation site. Huh. How did he come down? signal so soon it's unlikely to be him then who uh, not who but what uh, it's weird dr go you were correct sir it's just our probe it looks inactive can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal i'd say it's running in safe mode please try to power it on do we have time for this it's for a good reason doctor the probe could prove useful in the search and besides you'll see Okay, I'm opening the probe, turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malis, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. I, I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal.
It happened in a matter of seconds. But there's... There's nothing except dunes. Sand, a few rocks, a shadow. Shadow? Another sandstorm, I guess. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. You may turn on the fuses now. We'll take the probe with us. Okay. I've got it on my radar. Now I can give commands to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, it'd be nice to have some company. I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. Oh, that's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Please enter ball E. B A L L dash E. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. But it seems that we need to go back a little bit. Unless. It doesn't seem possible for us to go down here. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was... The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. Huh. I guess I found the first point. You guess? We have to be sure, Doctor. Well, I'm at the first clear branching of these structures. Such as reported by oh. Dr. Gorski. All right. What happened next? We should check both of them. There's point one. He followed the branch to the right. Another thing he reported was a massive vertical structure. This way, I think. Well, this branch leads nowhere, which is not a surprise. Hi, Bully. Oh, there's so much of it. I guess this is the fourth point, where the massive structure was mentioned. Our flag should be at the top. <laughs> 
Three, two, one. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Thank you for your assistance. Without your help, it would have taken much longer. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come <laughs> back, I'll send the lander right away. the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Koval and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Koval noted down the parameters. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Got it. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Um, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. We we'll wait. Hi, Bully. Lead the way. Wow. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. He could not fly for this long. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. <sighs> of course, I wasn't being serious. However helpful they may be, they're still just tools in the hand of man. Often faulty. mentioned the faulty machines, right? Well, the route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. <coughs> uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially. <laughs> Can you imagine us, protonaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Have oh, you started to fear for your position? <laughs> well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? Oh, 
will be fine at first. We'll feel more powerful than ever. And they, by becoming more human-like, will blend into our society. The boundaries will disappear. They will be granted their rights and given a voice. They will live on par with humans. You know what, Doctor? That sounds like some blasted science fiction. One in which I definitely don't want to live. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? No. Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. Dr. Gorski? Are you here somewhere? These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Staying on the topic of biological analogies, these bushes remind me of corals in a purely visual category because they're far from marine organisms. So I would guess that these are colonial structures, perhaps rock-forming ones. However, their main structure has nothing to do with corals. No noticeable mesenchymal tissues, no nidocyst, matocyst, or spirocyst, no visible oral discs. All right, all right, Doctor. I didn't ask for a marine biology lecture. But you got one.